We're going to go to Senator Haggerty and then to Senator King, who's been very patient and been on with us online uh, quite a while. Senator Haggerty. Thank you, Chairman Klobuchar. Um, thank you very much for, for uh, having us here today and for holding this hearing. I want to begin by thanking all the law enforcement officers that are represented here today. You and your families, thank you for your sacrifice, and certainly my heart goes out to those families and their loved ones who lost their lives uh, in, in this. In the, spring of, uh, in the spring and summer of 2020, many people criticized the use of the National Guard to help restore order in Washington following some of the worst rioting in decades. Mayor Bowser said that the Guard presence was, and I quote, unnecessary and may be counterproductive. And a D.C. National Guard leader even had to tell his troops, I quote again, some of the D.C. public does not agree with our mission and may have nefarious intention toward our servicemen. And according to a January 5th Washington Post report, top Pentagon officials emphasized that on January 6th, the Guard would have a, quote, far more muted presence than in June, saying that, quote, we've learned our lessons and will be absolutely nowhere near the Capitol building. Mr. Sund has stated that despite attempting to attain National Guard support on Capitol Hill on January 6th, he was unable to get approvals for such support. And several people today have referred to concerns over the optics of January the 6th. So my first question is directed to Mr. Sun. Do you think that the backlash against the use of National Guard troops to restore order back in the summertime led to reluctance in advance of January 6th to utilize Guard troops to protect the Capitol? Uh, sir, I, I cannot uh, really testify to what the inner working was or uh, working decisions uh, over at the Pentagon regarding either the decisions from the over the summer or the memo that was put out by the Secretary of the Army on uh, the 4th. Uh, however, I was uh, very surprised at the amount of time and the pushback I was receiving uh, when I was making an urgent request for their assistance. That's regrettable. Uh, I'd also like to uh, follow up on a line of questioning that Senator Hawley brought up. Uh, Speaker Pelosi has indicated that she intends to establish a commission to examine the events of January 6th. Of course, that's why we're here today, examining those issues. And Speaker Pelosi has also appointed a retired Army Lieutenant General, Russ Honore, who is going to lead the investigation of what happened. But days after the attack, General Honore said, I think once all this gets uncovered, again, I'm quoting him, it was complicit actions by Capitol Police. Before he added, that you, Mr. Sund, were, quote, complicit along with the sergeant at arms in the House and Senate. My question is, do any of you believe that comments like these by Mr. Onorek suggest that he is someone who is well suited to conduct a serious and unbiased review of the events of January 6th? If so, please explain. I'll go ahead and uh, start with that response. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, I found the, the comments that he made regarding myself and also the Capitol Police officers uh, highly disrespectful to the hardworking women and men of that police department, and also to myself. Uh, I welcome and I look forward to an after action that will move this agency forward, move our partnership with the federal agencies forward, but it has to be done in an unbiased fashion. I couldn't agree more, Mr. Son. In, in, in any other responses? Uh, I, I would disagree with uh, the general's uh, uh, what he said, I, I don't believe that's true. There's a lot of people that uh, put themselves in very much uh, danger on that day, and uh, I think saying something like that is just uh, not, uh, not in good taste. Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine uh, that being said myself, implying that you all were complicit in this. But I thank you for, for your answer and for your service. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Madam Chairman. Uh, thank you very much, Senator Haggerty. 